O Lord, hear my voice, for I have called to you. Be my help. Do not abandon or forsake me, O God, my Savior. In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of Jesus Christ the Lord be with you all. My brothers and sisters, as we gather to celebrate this Mass, we are mindful of our failings before God. You are sent to heal the contract of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, may forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, strength of those who hope in you, graciously hear our plea. And since without you mortal frailty can do nothing, Grant us always the help of your grace, that in following your commands, we may please you by our resolve and our deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first book of Kings. Naboth, the Jezreelite, had a vineyard in Jezreel next to the palace of Ahab, king of Samaria. Ahab said to Naboth, give me your vineyard to be my vegetable garden since it is closed next to my house. I will give you a better vineyard in exchange, or if you prefer, I will give you its value in money. Naboth answered him, the Lord forbid that I should give you my ancestral heritage. I have went home disturbed and angry at the answer Naboth the Jezreelite had made to him, I will not give you my ancestral heritage. Lying down in bed, in, lying down in bed he turned away from food and would not eat. His wife Jezebel came to him and said, and said to him, why are you so angry that you will not eat? And he answered her, because I spoke to Naboth, the Jezreelite, and said to him, sell me your vineyard, or if you prefer, I will give you a vineyard in exchange. But he refused to let me have his vineyard. His wife, Je Jezebel, said to him, a fine ruler over Israel you are indeed. Get up, eat, and be cheerful. I will obtain the vineyard of Naboth, the Jezreelite, for you. So she wrote letters in Ahab's name, and having sealed them with his seal, sent them to the elders and to the nobles who lived in the same city with Naboth. This is what she wrote in the letters. Proclaim a fast and set Naboth 
at the head of the people. Next, get two scoundrels to face him and accuse him of having caused God and king. Then take him, take him out and stone him to death. His fellow citizens, the elders and nobles who dwelt in his city, did as Jezebel had ordered them in writing through the letters she had sent them. They proclaimed a fast and placed Naboth at the head of the people. Two scoundrels came in and confronted him with the accusation, Naboth has caused God and king. And they led him out of the city and stoned him to death. Then they sent the information to Jezebel that Naboth had been stoned to death. When Jezebel learned, learned that Naboth had been stoned to death, she said to Ahab, Go on, take possession of the vineyard of Naboth, the, the Jezreelite, that he refused to sell you because Naboth is not alive, but dead. On hearing that Naboth was dead, Ahab started off on his way down to the vineyard of Naboth the Jezreelite to take possession of it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, Listen to my groaning. Lord, listen to my groaning. <coughs> Hearken to my words, O Lord. Attend to my sighing. Heed my call for help, my King and my God. Lord, listen to my groaning. At dawn, I bring my plea expectantly before you. For you, O God, delight not in wickedness. No evil man remains with you. The arrogant may not stand in your sight. Lord, listen to my groaning. You hate all evildoers. You destroy all who speak, speak falsehood. The bloodthirsty and the deceitful, the Lord abhors. Lord, listen to my groaning. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. A lamp to my feet is your word, a light to my path. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, You have heard that it was said, An eye for an eye, and a tooth for a tooth. But I say to you, Offer no resistance to one who is evil. When someone strikes you on your right cheek, turn the other one, to him as well. If anyone wants to go to law with you over your tunic, hand him your cloak as well. Should anyone press you into service for one mile, go with him for two miles. Give to the one who asks of you, and do not turn your back on one who wants to borrow. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. These are difficult words in today's gospel, difficult to understand. At first glance, it may seem that Jesus wants us to be so passive and submissive that we allow ourselves to be abused. But I think that is a, 
just a very surface reading of the Gospels. And the beauty of Scripture is that it always calls us to something deeper. Does God want us to be abused or to be in an abusive relationship? Absolutely not. He is not the God who wants us to suffer. He is not the God who sees in us a painful life and we jump simply accept it. But there is times, there are times rather, where we do have to walk the cross and the burden of the cross and the pain of the cross. Certainly. But we looked and we evaluate. What is it that Jesus is asking of us? And I think if we understand the scriptures and the great command, which is to love God and to love our neighbor as ourselves. So all the scriptures, all the law is based on love. And so what is love? Love is not simply a warm, gushy feeling. Love is something deeper. St. Paul tells us love is willing, wishing, and wanting what is best for another person. It is wanting the good. And so maybe what the scripture is saying to us is when we offer the other cheek is we don't return hatred for hatred, anger for anger, you know, an act of violence for an act of violence. We're seeing in our culture right now what violence is doing, with rioters who are destroying and destroying a message of peace. We're seeing what's happening. It doesn't work. Violence never works. What we're called to do is to love our enemy, love that person who hates us, so that in the power of that love, maybe there'll be a conversion, a change. And we're called to pray for those who do harm to us. Again, for that conversion of heart, for that change of mindset. Is it always easy to live? No, certainly not. But what do the scriptures are? But the challenge, the challenge is that we continue that journey to love as Jesus taught us. Not certainly to be in an abusive relationship. Remember, there's a difference between love and like. We're called to love everyone, wishing them well and not evil. We're not called to like everyone. And that difference is when we like someone, we want them part of our life. There's something about them that, intri about them that intrigues us, that we want to get to know better. We're not called to like everyone, but we're called to love. And sometimes love means loving from a distance to those people who may be abusive to us, to remove what keeps us from the path of God. It's never easy, my dear brothers and sisters, but it is the call to love even in the midst of hatred. Let us offer our petitions and needs for the church to our Father in heaven. And after each of the invocations, we will respond, hear us. For our church, may the Lord increase her in faith, hope, and charity. Lord, hear, hear, us. hear us. For those who struggle with addiction, may Christ, the physician, be with them in their struggles and bring them hope and healing. Let us pray to the Lord. Hear us. Hear us. For an end of violence, so we may enter dialogue to address the issue of our nation. Lord, hear, hear us. us. For those who have died, especially for coronavirus, marked with the sign of faith, may they come to share in the baptismal promise of new life. Lord, Hear us. For a special petitions and intentions, especially for Edgy Aretakis, as is offered by Father Jude, and Kevin Hooks, as is offered by Father Bob. Lord, hear, hear us. us. Heavenly Father, hear the petitions we offer and grant them according to your holy will, through Christ our Lord.
Bless the Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive this bread we offer you, through the earth and work of human hands, become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, to become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. O God, who in the offerings presented here provide for the twofold needs of human nature, nourishing us with food and renewing us with your sacrament, grant, we pray, that the sustenance they provide may not fail us in body or in spirit. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too exalt you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray. By sending down your spirit upon them, like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O, o Lord, Lord, and, and profess, profess your, your resurrection, resurrection until, until you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring to her the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and John our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art who in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, kingdom the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
There is one thing I ask of the Lord, only this do I seek, to live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. As this reception of your holy communion, O Lord, foreshadows the union of the faithful in you, so may it bring about unity in your church, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Now we will pray the miraculous medal novena. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of thy faithful, and kindle in them the fire of thy love. Send forth thy Spirit, and thou shalt be created. And thou shalt renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. O God, who did instruct the hearts of the faithful by the light of the Holy Spirit, grant us in the same Spirit to be truly wise and ever rejoice in his consolation through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O Mary, conceive without sin. Pray for us, O Mary, conceive without sin. Pray for us, O Mary, conceive without sin. Pray for us, O Lord Jesus Christ, who have vouchsafed to glorify by numerous miracles the Blessed Virgin Mary, immaculate from the first moment of her conception, Grant that all who devoutly implore her protection on earth may eternally enjoy thy presence in heaven, who with the Father and the Holy Spirit live and reign, God, forever and ever. Amen. O Lord Jesus Christ, who for the accomplishment of thy greatest works have chosen the weak things of the world, that no flesh may glory in thy sight, and who for a better and more widely diffused belief in the Immaculate Conception of Thy Mother, have wished that the Miraculous Medal be manifested to St. Catherine Labore. Grant, we beseech Thee, that filled with like humility, we may glorify this mystery by word and work. Amen. The Memorare. Remember, O most compassionate Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to Thy protection implored Thy assistance or sought, or sought thy intercession, intercession was, was left unaided. unaided. Inspired, Inspired with this confidence, confidence, we fly unto thee, O Virgin of Virgins, our Mother. To thee we come, before thee we kneel, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not our petitions, but in thy clemency hear and answer them. Amen. The Novena Prayer. O Immaculate Virgin Mary, Mother of our Lord Jesus and our Mother, penetrated with the most lively confidence in thy all-powerful and never-failing intercession, manifested so often through the miraculous medal. We, thy loving and trustful children, implore thee to obtain for us the graces and favors we ask during this novena, if they be beneficial to our mortal souls and the souls for whom we pray. Thou knowest, O Mary, how often our souls have been the sanctuaries of thy Son, who hates iniquity. Obtain for us then a deep hatred of sin and that purity of heart which will attach us to God alone, so that every thought, word, and deed may tend to his greater glory. 
obtain for us also a spirit of prayer and self-denial, that we may recover by penance what we have lost by sin, and at length attain to that blessed abode where thou art the Queen of angels and of men. Amen. The Consecratory Prayer. O Virgin, Mother of God, Mary Immaculate, we dedicate and consecrate ourselves to thee under the title of Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal. May this medal be for each one of us, a sure sign of thy affection for us and a constant reminder of our duties towards thee. Ever while wearing it, may we be blessed by thy loving protection and preserved in the grace of thy Son. O most powerful Virgin, Mother of our Savior, keep us close to thee every moment of our lives. Obtain for us, thy children, the grace of a happy death, so that in union with thee, we may enjoy the bliss of heaven forever. Amen. O Mary, conceive without sin. Pray for us who have recourse to thee. O Mary, conceive without sin. Pray for us who have recourse to thee. O Mary, conceive without sin. Pray for us who have recourse to thee. The Lord be with you. <clears throat> may Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Thanks be to God.